Hi, it's Commander Ricardo. How you doing? I'm still playing Elite Dangerous. Horizons. Season 2. Now, it's only a few days, really, until Beyond Chapter 1 is released, and we're all waiting with anticipation for that. Somebody on my community came and gave me a tip for trading, so I was in the vicinity, and I thought I'd head on over. I'm in my Corvette, which I've got painted lovely lime green, and the idea of this trading route um, is to trade some slaves, some superconductors, bio waste, crop harvesters, whatever, uh, between a couple of stations and make some money. He said it was a good run. Well, we're going to see. Now, I'm not particularly allied with any of the factions, but that shouldn't make any difference. So the first place we're going to is Tetrian. All right, and we're going to ship some slaves from Yimabin to Tetrian. In particular, Nicola Station, and try and make a bit of money. Now, we're buying about 12,000, um, so, you know, they have been cheaper elsewhere, has to be said. Um, we're going to see how much money we're going to make at Nicola Station. Now, slaves, by scrolling down and checking on the station list, are prohibited. So this means we're going to have to go in super secret, sneaky beaky. So that's not a problem, we've done that before. Let's get on our merry way. So look how that Corvette blends in with the agricultural scenery inside that ship. What a hideous colour. I really don't know what's possessed me to get that, I don't know. Some of the other colours are quite good, a little bit akin to hot rods. But, um, I don't know, it's nice and bright. What the hell, you know? Um, it's all about individuality if you're going to go for these paint packs. Let's get cracking. So, we're jumping away from Yimabin, and we're now in the Tetrian system, on approach to Nicholas Station, and we are smuggling our slaves. So in order to do this, we're going to reduce our footprint, um, our heat signature as well. On approach as well, we're going to leave it to the last minute, something I've been doing lately, leaving it right into the last minute to be request docking. We're in silent running mode, so our ship is gradually building up heat. We're about to go through the aperture. The last possible minute's what I've done, and now we've got ourselves a docking port. Brilliant. As soon as we're in through the aperture, we're not going to get scanned. It's 24 that we want. It's directly below us, and then we're going to turn our silent running off. A little bit of cunning landing now, and we'll soon be on the deck. And while we're doing all that we can turn the modules back on so we've successfully got through there 464 units of slaves so we are the slave runner not to worry let's get down and let's get landing so now we're getting it on the deck I wonder how much these slaves are gonna bring in so Starport services. Now, I'm not using any third-party tool here. Right? I'm going directly on the information that was passed to me. Now, you notice I've had a little bit of damage. Some anaconda. Some cheeky little sod tried having a go at me. Um, fortunately, I, I managed to hold him off. And I got some money for it as well, which is pretty good. So, slaves. Slaves, then. Sell. We're only making 3,108 credits each, which is terrible. Terrible for slaves. Um, normally you can make a bit more of a killing to that. But hey, we are where we are. We've got 464 tons of this. And um, best sell them off. Now that's going to give us a profit of 1,442,112 credits. Brilliant. Um, I'm not even sure if that's going to carry on the running costs of the ship. Not to worry. Let's give it an open mind and see how we go. Um, okay, I'm running a very expensive ship, very large ship. I've got all the cargo capacity, but this is this is what we're doing. In fact, this run may be more appropriate for commanders just starting out. So the next location is the Hecatl system. Um, yeah, I'm going to call it that. Hecatl. 
system. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some superconductors over there and see how much money we can make. 464 tons. We're filling up on that. Let's get on our merry way and see how much money we make or don't make. But let's not forget to redeem all the bounty vouchers as well that I incurred in my little skirmish with that anaconda. So time to take off and get the hell out of Dodge and see if we can make some money. Now, I'm not hopeful about this, but hey, it's a little break from the norm. Sick of doing passenger missions, sick of doing ground surface missions. And here we are in the Akatl system, specifically Michelson Port. No need to hide or, or shield ourselves from sensors because we're not carrying anything illegal. We're carrying semiconductors. So here we are, we've landed. Let's get into the commodities market and scroll all the way down. Superconductors, there they are. We've got 464. We're only making 1,148 credits. Well, that's not very good, is it? Um, that's hardly going to go setting the world alight. But we are where we are, and we are going to have to sell up. So, not much money made there, to be honest. What was that, half a million? Anyway, not to worry. Okay, so moving on to our next area. We're going to stock up on Imperial Slaves yet again. Um, we're going to fill our hold right the way full of those. And we're going to get ourselves over to the Veron Andy system. Vero Andy system. Okay, and I'll put that in the comments anyway. So stocking up on all that. Let's get cracking and let's get over there. Now, as you can see on the system map or the galaxy map, it is but a short hop over. You know, we're going to have to do a jump there. Let's get some data about the system. In particular, we're looking for the Vardaman port. Vardaman. Yes, there it is, the Vardaman port. Let's scroll down, just make sure um, what the situation is. Disable facilities, no black market, okay. Usually that's bad because it means there's going to be no free selling of slaves. And of course, slaves are indeed prohibited. So that's more sneaky beaconess for us to get in. We're going to have to glide in there with all the engines and the like switched off. So here we are on approach. We're in silent running mode. We're gliding in and a minimal power, I suppose, into the space station. As soon as we're through the aperture again, same as before we saw elsewhere, we're going to be taking that silent running mode off and then sticking this crate on the ground as quickly as we possibly can. So here we are, we're down. A hold full of slaves. Shields are just recharged. Vardaman Gateway. Okay. Let's refuel down to mission board. Let's just see if anybody's after any some after any of the stuff that we've got in our cargo hold. I mean, is there any other money to be made? No, not really. Can you give us stuff? No. I'm here to make money. Data transfers. Pfft. A little bit of money, I suppose, really, in delivery of some commodities. Anyway, let's go and offload what we've got. Right, so, slaves, there we go. Um, 3589, which is slightly more than what we got in the first run. So, it's probably more profitable just to go from Farkas Station to, to, this, to this one. Hmm, interesting stuff. So, we made 1.6 million there. Again, we're not setting the world alight. And we're going to go back from here which is quite industrial, I suppose, to an agricultural area. So I suppose really what we need is something like agricultural machinery. Now, there's always good old bio-waste. You can transport bio-waste, but you're not going to make any money there, are you really? Um, you know, basic medicines, they're always a pretty good screw. Um, but let's face it. We're not going to make a huge amount of cash here. So we're going to go back to Yimabin. 
uh, where it all started, then probably pick up the ship, the Asp Explorer, um, and go somewhere else. But hey, it's been a route, and I've tried it out. I think this route will be great for new commanders, um, not so much for a seasoned, seasoned commanders with loads of running costs. But hey, you are where you are. It's um, taken about 35, 40 minutes, and I've only made 4 million. It's absolutely terrible. I think I could have made more than that just doing the missions, but not to worry. What we're going to do anyway, though, we're going to get in there. We're going to get uh, it's a ton of basic medicines. Why not? And then we're going to scroll up as well. Hey, water purifiers, always handy. Um, let's have one of those. Um, again, we're not going to break the blank doing this. And let's scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. And we're going to go now for crop harvesters. Because, hey, agricultural, hey. You know, everyone needs a crop harvester if you're planting stuff. Anyway, not to worry. So, fill the cargo up full of those. And then let's get out of here. So here we go, we're back at Farkas, Farkas Gateway in the Yimabin system, agricultural station. We're packing in our cargo hold um, some crop harvesters, because it's agricultural, hey, you know, uh, stands to reason, doesn't it, really? Um, one ton of um, medicine and a ton of water purifiers, just to mix it up. Uh, we haven't made a hell of a lot of many. We have made, in fact, about four and a half million, which is atrocious plus I made about 400,000 by shooting an anaconda that pulled me out of frame shift hey there you go and I think I'm probably gonna make I don't know but a hundred thousand on, on, on what I'm doing so in the mission board again there's nothing really they want to give they want me to give them money um, nothing much going on there so you know courier jobs and things but I haven't got the cargo capacity Probably make more money doing that. You know? Probably make more money doing that. Unless you use some of the big trading tools that are out there on the internet to get those sweet deals. And again, it's all about reputation as well. You're going to come up lacking. So, let's go and uh, sell some of this stuff. So, we're making about just over a thousand on each of those. So, that's about half a million. So, that's been... By my calculations, 5 million through all this. 5 million. Terrible. I can't wait for Beyond Chapter 1 to come out and for us to get in there, do a bit more exploration. So, I mean, I've made I've made many, you know, um, and it's getting back to the dynamics of the game. It's not been so bad. So there I am. I'm going to get back into my Asp Explorer and go exploring, perhaps get myself over to Founder's World, ready for the Beyond beta to finish, and Beyond to be released straight away, get myself a Chieftain, and go off then and start um, exploring all the new additions that Frontier are putting in. I've been Ricardo, it's been Elite Dangerous, 2.4 Horizons, just prior to Beyond being released. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see, click the like and subscribe button. Fly safe. See you soon.